perfect weather today summer is coming and today had been very warm and also a day off from work for absolutely everybody national like holiday day so i've been out biking for a short stroll so now i'm actually tired and we can do some gaming so i got this steel series aerox free it's the wire version i like the wire ones compared to the wireless ones because i don't like charging my mouse all the time uh, best gaming mouse from ign awards so this is like a new line of ultra light mouses now also from steel series testing steel series mouses before a lot of them have tended to be fairly big and heavy and this is their like new uh, push into the market to to compete with uh, all of the other brand that is doing the same stuff uh, it looks fairly similar to other mouses like this so it will be interesting to see um if you would want to buy this compared to the other ones in this class so we see here 57 gram that is almost like 10 grams lighter than let's say a glorious model o so fairly light but i don't really think i will feel those 10 grams anyway uh, true move core uh, pixel art speed precision with true one-to-one -one tracking sensor basically we have a good sensor in here i think that uh, is more than enough to say about that smooth glide path uh, ptfe glide skates like every other mouse now at the market in this category and super mesh cable microfiber mesh with unnoticeable drag movement we will test that so when it comes to build quality i think they have done a great job even though this is a very light mouse at 58 grams it feels very sturdy and if you press at different places it doesn't really have uh, a lot of give to it so it's a very sturdy construction even though it's very light and you can see like the pattern on top they have cut out a lot of uh, material on it uh, when it comes to the f overall feel of using it, I think they also have done a great job to the sculpting of this. Probably put in a lot of effort to have it fit uh, good into your hand. It didn't take me long at all to adjust to using this mouse and I really like the feel of it. It's um, not like super wide but wide enough to fit my palm on it and uh, my fingers rest on the buttons which is like got some angling to them the, which makes it nice to click on and such the overall clicking on the main buttons the right and left uh, it doesn't like feel mushy at all and you can click on the surfaces all around without having any problems there the only thing i don't like when it comes to the feel of this mouse is the scroll wheel i think it's like um I think they have like put it a little bit too deep into the mouse. It doesn't like protrude high enough for it to be, be to be easy to use. And also they put it like a little bit high up or uh, close to the middle. So when gaming it's like I have to move my fingers a lot more than I would have wanted to do. Other than that the mouse feel, feels nice. Uh, the clickiness when scrolling you can feel like the tactical bump there so it's not like with the rocket burst i feel that there isn't like enough of a tactical bump when you like scroll with it uh, making it hard to like know how much you should scroll to like change weapons the side buttons are also a little bit problematic for me as well they are very thin uh, but they are not only very thin they have made it like a uh, angled shape like a pyramid or something so your contact patch is only like a millimeter <laughs> so it uh, digs a little bit into your hand and it's not like easy to find at all so i'm not sure why they have done it that way and also they feel a little bit like mushy it uh, takes some uh, force or like travel to actually get it to click the RGB lighting looks very nice on this. Uh, when you are using it with your hand, you won't see it because your palm with and uh, thumb will uh, block all of it. 
but it got this line on the side uh, with um, different zones so you will have like some light effects that like uh, shines over the different zones like color changing between the zones which looks nice and it does this by having five LEDs so I was trying to play with this thing but the right mouse button was like lagging when I was clicking on the fur down here it wouldn't really register I had to click up here I didn't really know why so I just took it apart and I can't really see why now either but I feel that maybe this top wasn't on there all the way on here snug because when I'm refitting everything it seems to click fine so I will see if that problem comes back but now we have taken it apart we can see on the inside here it's a very simple logic board so that saves you a lot of weight and overall the mouse is very simple we have the scroll wheel here like only three spokes to save on some weight here here we have the switches we can see them working and in action here nice and clicky feel and it also seems like the main board has some kind of epoxy coating on top so maybe if you were to spill some liquid or you have a little bit moist hands it won't affect all of these chips and stuff and because we can see in the top here all debris and moisture and droplets of water would just fall directly down to these uh, transistors and such. So just a simple logic board in here is the sensors, we have all of the buttons and the scroll wheel and there isn't really much more to it and here we have the USB-C. The LEDs are situated under here, you can see them those and blocks there and it uses like this plastic as a diffuser to diffuse the light out and it also got like the round ptfe pads so you will probably very soon or already find like uh, ceramic pads for this mouse since it doesn't really take like a special size or anything like that maybe think this was the problem like you see now if i click here or in the ends it won't like register down here we see there is like a gap in between the two layers here so maybe it wasn't so if we close that gap it seems to register fine even clicking down here so i hope this problem won't get come back well the mouse was actually missing one screw and we can see like the gap there uh, I was taking it apart but we can really see that here we have the missing screw and here we see like already the holes have some like pressure marks from the screws so the screw never went in there from the factory actually which made this not register clicks down here so yeah I would send this back but I want to use it so uh, we will live with three screws for now maybe find that owner a screw from somewhere else but I will set the two screws in front and then one back here so let's try to game with it as well um, but firstly I have to say that the mouse overall is a great buy it isn't really too expensive and I will actually leave a link down below to buy it through Amazon so if you buy it there I would like to get a small commission <laughs> so if anybody does that actually thank you for that um, but overall I will continue to use it it's not like perfect uh, I'm not sure if it's just me or uh, if other people would have feel the same way about the mouse grill button I was searching reddit and I found out some other guys complaining about the mouse scroll I didn't really look too long but also the side buttons is like a issue for me at least but I can't really see how anybody would like play competitive and uh, be fine with having those small smushy side buttons 
Uh, I'm not really a pro player at all, I'm mediocre at best. In this round here I'm just trying to maybe be a little bit more aggressive than I used to be when in the LC10 on this uh, uh, Nuketown map here. Uh, I really like to play Black Ops now because uh, uh, it's somewhat close to the combat in Warzone. In Modern Warfare multiplayer, uh, the combat is just so fast. So, if you, it's more the first person that shoots that wins. Uh, tracking and such while shooting isn't as important. So, if you want to be a better Warzone player, I would uh, play Black Ops instead because it takes longer to kill. I used higher sense before, but one of my friends recommended me to go down when it comes to sense. So now I'm playing with 800 with uh, 800 DPI with like 5 to 6 sensitivity in game. So I know that people play at much lower sense than that, but I feel that if I personally were to lower it even further down, I can really stay competitive at all because uh, I would need a bigger mouse mat and table, and yeah, it would just uh, makes everything so slow when moving around. Uh, so I think 800 DPI to 5 to 6 cents is a fairly good compromise there. Otherwise we can see that the mouse does the job correctly. I'm able to track some targets and uh, and change weapon actually, which I talked about with the mouse scrolling wheel. It isn't really a big problem, but it maybe takes a little bit longer time than it should because you have to like move your finger a little bit back. When it comes to the lightness of the mouse, I can maybe feel that it's a lighter than a glorious mouse. Uh, but it really doesn't make me better player that yeah. Overall, it isn't really much better when it comes to lightness than our mouse. And in the class, there are a lot of good mouse that you can buy. I also had some quality issues with mine. Or maybe not quality issues, but at least quality control issues from the factory. Uh, but the one screw was missing. I should have sent it back, but I wanted to use it and play with it. So I was able to fix it myself, luckily. Uh, we are playing Domination here, so... It takes a long time to run through this map here. Uh, now a hard point we're actually playing. So <laughs> the play is actually pretty chaotic. Just running around and the spawns change all of the time and get people in your back and such. But I feel that I did a fairly good job here. Uh, it was I've been playing a little bit today, been out biking and such, so uh, when there's nice weather outside, I tend to go outside firstly, otherwise I get like bad feeling in my head because I can't really only be inside playing. But if you do something other and when you actually get inside playing, you will probably feel better in your body and also it's just more fun to play if you don't do it all the time. And it's not like you quit playing for some time, it will be much worse. I would think the other way around actually. If you get some pauses in between gaming, uh, you will probably like playing more and do a better job. Yeah, I think I will just continue this video playing in the background. I don't really have much more to say. I've been talking um, over this video here with the podcast mic uh, from HyperX, which I really like now, uh, actually mostly for like making YouTube videos and such, and I have a few more videos planned, uh, taking a look at different screens that is like end of line or 
that will be replaced by newer molds, so we maybe get some good discounts at them at the moment. I like the. You can probably find reviews of these screens on YouTube. But yeah, I want to make my own and see if anybody is interested because I've tested uh, newer screens like from these were started to be sold, so we will also like see the drawbacks if maybe the technology have gotten better and how they would compare to like a newer, more better or expensive screens. Uh, and uh, the Steel Series IRX 3 got nice RGB, but if you are already in like the ecosystem of Steel Series products, it also maybe makes more sense to buy this than a modern mouse because, at least if you really care about RGB, because you can like sync it with uh, your other lights. So let's say you have a breathing effect that will like follow from your keyboard over to the mouse. Not a huge deal, but yeah, fairly nice. Overall, the Steel Series app is fairly good made, and you can do some changes to how the colors look. I don't really play around that much with it, but uh, I just set it to one color and let it stay there. The only other thing I think about this mouse is that it's got a USB-C cable, so you can easily change the cable. But I also hope that uh, when you like move around the mouse, it won't put too much strains on the contacts internally, so it won't get loose from the logic board and break it that way. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will continue this playing in the background and you can watch it if you want this video. Bye.
Target eliminated. Head to Exfil. You're not to be taken alive. That's a hard fail. 